Hi everyone, my name is John and thank you for joining me for this presentation. Prophylactic dental care is something that we as vets and nurses often overlook the importance of. And for the cases where we know that the patient would benefit, so say for example our dental disease prone Yorkshire Terriers, the arsenal of products that we have in our clinics is often very limited to maybe just one product that we really don't know that much about. Not only is prophylactic treatment in itself important, and something that we should include as part of our routine dental procedures, but it's also important that we use and supply products that have concrete evidence on their efficacy and that we believe in ourselves. We're pretty familiar with the saying, prevention is better than cure. And while dental disease is a continuous issue, it's not something that we can simply cure with one descale and polish procedure, we can help control the speed and the severity at which it returns in the mouth through prophylactic care. It not only helps our patients medically, but it yields results that the owners can see so they can begin to appreciate the value of dentistry for their own pet as well. Before we really look at the products that are out there and the certain types that are available, it's important you understand what plaque is because plaque is what kickstarts dental disease within the mouth. Plaque is a sticky colorless substance that grows on the surfaces of teeth. It's this colorless nature that makes plaque almost invisible giving it time to develop and proliferate without any obvious indications that it's there. Because it doesn't like to make itself known straight away, owners don't quite understand the need for home care because they can't see anything there that needs treating. And we as vets and nurses can be guilty of it too. There is however something called plaque disclosing solution. This is a dye, usually pink in colour, that comes impregnated on a swab and adheres to plaque in the mouth, revealing it in one big colourful glow. It's a useful tool to show owners that although they can't see it, plaque does in fact exist, and there's a lot of it there. Contrary to popular belief, plaque isn't just one species of bacteria. It's made up of many hundreds that work together to create a community called a plaque biofilm. It usually starts with the attachment of predominantly benign aerobic bacteria to the pedicle of the tooth, where they start to use up oxygen and multiply. They send out signals to attract more bacteria, essentially saying they found a good environment and to come join them. As this oxygen is used, the biofilm then begins to favour anaerobic bacteria, and it's these species that are more often than not the nasty disease-causing bacteria. This new biofilm begins to mature and thicken over time, and eventually mineralizes into the hard brown deposits known as tartar, and this is what we see in our examinations at which point the disease has been manifesting for weeks previous. So what role does prophylactic dental care play when it comes to this plaque? Well, bacteria are a part of us and they live on virtually every part of our body in a state of flux as we shed cells. The big difference with our mouths, however, is enamel and its surrounding structures do not shed, so bacteria can grow and grow without this epithelial shedding to help control the population. We have to do it for them. Plaque biofilm is also very strong, and the longer it's left to grow, the tougher it becomes. The bacteria can become so robust that studies have shown antibiotics would have to be used at up to 1,000 times their concentration to inhibit or kill when compared to the same bacterial strains grown planktonically. Even the most conservative results showed at least 250 times their concentration would be needed to have an impact. I mentioned at the start that dental disease is a continuous fight, and that's because plaque never goes away. It can grow into a mature biofilm in as little as 48 hours post scaling and polishing. It's the reason why dentals always seem to be such a big job. The plaque is fighting back as soon as you lift your foot off the pedal to finish up a dental, and the teeth don't get any more help until you see them in a couple of years time, when the plaque has had uninterrupted opportunity to set up camp again, possibly on already damaged surfaces, meaning it will dig deeper and cause further pathology. Prophylactic care also educates owners on the importance of dentistry. It gets them involved so they understand why it needs to be done and in turn boost their compliance and your practice's income. A well-known statistic is that 70% of cats and 80% of dogs over the age of three have some form of dental disease and it seems to be a very big number to just accept when there's so much we can do to help reduce that. We visit our dentists once maybe twice a year and we brush our teeth twice daily. We do it to control the plaque in our mouths but why do we overlook this in our pets? There are differences. For example, we have more sugar in our diet, which is corrosive to teeth, 
But the routine dental care we give ourselves does not equate to one dental procedure every few years with nothing in between for our pets. Teeth are delicate and they don't heal like wounds on our skin. We need to protect them in every way we can. There is no shortage of choice when it comes to home care products or prophylactic treatments, but siphoning out the ones that work from the ones that have limiting results can be difficult, but a little research can go a long way. Treatments, however, do usually boil down into a few core categories. I'll start with water additives, which are an easy to use product requiring virtually no work from the owner. The volume used varies between brands, but the same principle applies. A solution is added to the cat or dog's daily drinking water, which they'll lap up. It's often referred to as a pet mouthwash. Water additives work to dilute and rinse the mouth, while also actively breaking down molecules that cause bad breath and slowing down plaque production. Some brands are problematic, however, as they just use scents to mask the smell of bad breath, and most of the time they use ingredients like xylitol or sorbitol to do this, which is unnecessary even below toxic levels, and can cause palatability issues, especially in cats. You want a water additive that has case studies behind it, to say it does what it says in the bottle and has a good palatability record, like Oxyfresh, which is tasteless and odourless. While water additives are stress-free and convenient to home care products for owners, their long-term efficacy is limited as plaque develops and they should be used in combination with other products. Oxyfresh is a product that we believe encompasses all these benefits from a water additive in one bottle. It uses a patented blend of a stabilised chlorine dioxide, known as oxygen, and zinc acetate to effectively eliminate bad breath and also reduce plaque and tartar formation. It's safe, it's non-toxic, alcohol-free, tasteless, odourless, and it's also free of any dye, so there's no visual deterrent when it's added into water. Toothbrushing has long been considered the gold standard when it comes to dental health. It mechanically scrubs away plaque, so there is no time for it to thicken and mature, causing progressive dental disease in the mouth. The benefits are long lasting, and it significantly improves dental health in between professional treatments at the clinic, which will still be needed to efficiently remove plaque buildup below the gum line and in small grooves of the teeth. As for water additives, you should use a non-toxic paste, which if flavoured, should be something the cat or dog will enjoy the taste of like chicken. Toothbrushing can be as stressful to start with, and it's not possible in every patient, but making it as stress-free as you can is important if you want it to work so pet toothpastes are also free of foaming agents. Toothbrushing gets the owner involved, and it's a great opportunity to survey the mouth while they brush so they can check for other pathologies which they may have otherwise missed. When compared to using water additives, brushing has an improved contact time for its ingredients to work with, and reaches more faces of the tooth which may have been missed while drinking in breeds where food and water spend very little time in the mouth, like for Labradors. Oxyfresh also comes available as a dental gel, so you can combine the mechanical effect of tooth brushing with all the great benefits and ingredients that are in the Oxyfresh water additive. Crown or enamel sealants are applied by the vet after a dental procedure to fully scaled and polished teeth, creating a shield against plaque adhesion. They usually start from approximately 2mm above the gum line and can cover an entire tooth or the at risk part of a tooth. The gap left between the tooth and the gum line is because enamel sealants involve acid etching, which is controlled erosion of the teeth, and it should not contact mucous membranes. Acid etching microscopically roughens the surface of the tooth, creating grooves for the sealant to absorb into so it can chemically and physically lock into place. They can last for up to one year, and some studies have shown their effects lasting even longer. These sort of sealants help resolve sensitivities where enamel has been worn close to the pulp and is at risk of further erosion. It stops plaque formation and blocking infection as a result, overall giving a cosmetically pleasing result, so you won't see any brown deposits accumulate on the teeth that have been coated with the sealant. The real nice thing with these is once applied, no work is required by the owner. Ginger Shield is an antibacterial enamel sealant and it's one of the first of its kind on the veterinary market. It has been adapted from the much celebrated DentaShield in human dentistry, which uses a selenium-based compound known as Celdox. Not only is it affordable, but it has outstanding antimicrobial properties, protecting against plaque biofilm from
for up to one year. It comes available as a starter kit or a refill kit and takes the hassle out of daily home care. Another variation of sealant is the gum sealant. They're essentially a dental superglue, and unlike crown sealants, they don't require any extra equipment like the curing light needed to acid etch. They work by sealing the free gingiva back to the tooth, closing off exposed sulci. Water and oxygen can pass freely through them and into the sulcus, making it unfavorable to anaerobes. Gum sealants such as Sanos work as a physical barrier and they avoid the unnecessary use of antibiotics that are built into other materials for filling periodontal pockets. They last for six months, at which point they can be reapplied, protecting the hidden structures of the tooth from disease. As for crown sealants, they don't require any work from the owner, and it is possible to use both types of sealants in conjunction and capitalise on the benefits of both. Diet is another option that can be looked at to manage dental disease prophylactically. As we all know, pet food usually comes in two forms, wet and dry, with most people favouring dry food for dental management. However, there is no evidence to suggest that wet food is bad for dental health, or that any bag of dry food will mechanically remove plaque when chewed. It's important to source dental diets from a reputable company that has done some scientific research to develop kibble that has proven to be beneficial to dental health. This is usually done by altering the shape and size of dry kibble and using a specially designed matrix to control when it breaks and how it grinds against the tooth to remove deposits. Along with the antibacterial ingredients they use, such as zinc salts and polyphosphates, diet is a great approach because animals are being fed anyway, so it doesn't feel like an extra step for the owner. However, a lot of these studies are controlled and their benefits may not have been tested against patients who already have evidence of periodontal disease. Likewise, if a pet is fed two different brands, the results might vary, and for the full benefit, they have to be the only thing fed to the animal, which is rarely the case. Treats are available too, which maximise on the mechanical effect of chewing, but while low in fat, they can be calorific and should not be fed every day. So this break period between treats can expose them out to plaque growth and give it a chance to harden. This was just a brief introduction into prophylactic dental care and why it's something we should invest more in and appreciate its place in dentistry, because it is essential all year round and it can be very profitable for our clinics for honest reason. A combination approach is best, but start where the owner's budget and the pet's compliance allows and build on from there. Each product has many pros, so build on them with what you can. It's a team effort, but it's our job to educate owners on the importance of home care, so we can help their appreciation of it and improve their pet's quality of life. We would be more than happy to talk to you more about any of the points made in this presentation, and if you have any queries about the products, please feel free to contact us. All the codes for the products are on screen now, and you can also find them on our website, www.imtreevet.eu or .co.uk if you are joining us in the UK. Thank you very much.